we have x squared minus x minus 6 equals to 0. To solve this by completing the square method, we first add 6 to both sides so that we have x squared minus x equals to 6. Because in the method of completing the square, to be able to complete the square, it's only the terms in x that are left on the left-hand side. The other terms go to the right-hand side, especially the constant terms. Now, we are going to add the square of half of the coefficients of x to both sides, so as to be able to complete the square on the left-hand side. We already have a video on how to determine what to add to make a quadratic expression a perfect square. Check the link in the description for it. So the coefficient of x here is minus 1. Then half of minus 1 is minus 1 over 2. So we are going to be adding the square of minus 1 over 2 to both sides. So the right hand side becomes 6 plus minus 1 over 2 squared. Then the left hand side is going to factor out as x minus 1 over 2 all squared. Also we have a tutorial on how to factor perfect squares. Trinomials that factor as perfect squares. The link is also in the description to this video. While the right hand side will be 6 plus the square of 1 over 2 is 1 over 4. The square of negative 1 over 2 is 1 over 4. Then we have on the left hand side x minus 1 over 2 all squared. On the right hand side 6 plus 1 over 4 is going to be 25 over 4. Then we take the square root of both sides. On the left hand side we have the square root of x minus 1 over 2 squared and on the right hand side we have the square root of 25 over 4 so that square root and square cancel out on the left hand side and we have x minus half and on the right hand side note that whenever we take square root it should be positive or negative so on the, on the right hand side we have plus or minus 5 over 2 as the square root of 25 over 4. The next step is to add 1 over 2 to both sides so that we have x to be 1 over 2 plus or minus 5 over 2. Now since the two fractions on the right hand side have the same denominator, then their SEM is the same. So we have the numerator as 1 plus or minus 5 over 2, meaning that x is 1 minus 5 over 2 or x could be 1 plus 5 over 2 thus x will be minus 4 over 2 or x is 6 over 2 so when x is minus 4 over 2 it means that x is minus 2 and the other one 6 over 2 means x is 3 so the solution by completing the square gives minus 2 and 3. Now let us try factorization method and compare the two. The equation is x squared minus x minus 6 equals to 0. Then we look for factors of negative 6 whose sum will be negative 1, minus 1. These are plus 2 and minus 3. So the equation, the left hand side of the equation factors out as x plus 2, x minus 3 equals to 0. And x plus 2 is 0 or x minus 3 is 0. So x will be negative 2 or x will be positive 3. We use this first equation to show that the result obtained when it comes to completing the square does not differ from the one obtained by factorization. However, completing the square method is best suited for equations that do not factorize. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, we have 3x squared minus 14x plus 7. 
a good look at this one will show that we have plus 21 if we slide 3 to 7, and there are no factors of plus 21 that will give negative 14 the middle term. So factorization method does not work. Now, now we set out the completing the square method in order to get the solution. So we've got 3x squared minus 14x. Subtracting 7 from both sides will give us negative 7 on the right-hand side. Then in the completing the square method, the x squared must be with a coefficient of 1. So in this case, we will need to divide through by 3, which is the coefficient of the x squared. So 3x squared divided by 3, 14x divided by 3, and negative 7 divided by 3. So it give us x squared minus 14 over 3x equals to minus 7 over 3. And to complete the square on the left-hand side, we will add the square of half of the coefficient of x to both sides. The coefficient of x is negative 14 over 3. So half of it, half of it is negative 7 over 3. Then we are going to add the square of this to both sides so that the equation becomes x squared x squared minus 14x over 3 plus negative 7 over 3 all squared on the left hand side then the right hand side will be negative 7 over 3 plus negative 7 over 3 squared factoring the left hand side we have x minus 7 over 3 all squared as a perfect square having completed the square and the right hand side will be negative 7 over 3 plus 49 over 9. And we simplify the right hand side. The left hand side remains x minus 7 over 3 all squared. And the right hand side having the lowest common denominator, having the lowest common denominator of 9, we have negative 21 plus 49 over 9. Then that gives x minus 7 over 3 all squared and on the right hand side we have 28 over 9. We take the square root of both sides. So the square root of the left hand side we have the square root cancelling the square while on the right hand side we have plus or minus square root of 28 over 9. So that in the next line we have x minus 7 over 3 to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 28 can be written as 2 root 7. By the square root of 9, the denominator is 3. The next step is to add 7 over 3 to both sides. So that we have x equals to 7 over 3 plus or minus 2 root 7 over 3. With the same denominators, x will then be 7 plus or minus 2 root root 7 over 3, meaning that the roots of the quadratic equation are x equals to 7 minus 2 root 7 over 3, or x equals to 7 plus 2 root 7 over 3, leaving the answer in radical form. We believe that you now have a good understanding of the method of completing the square in solving quadratic equations especially quadratic equations that will not factorize. Here are two for you. Solve them and comment with your solution, or you can send the solutions to the email address in the description below. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so that you can get updates when a new math tutorial comes out. Also, in the description to this video are links of what we have done so far on quadratic equations, especially the factoring techniques